look how cute it swims if you hover over it. <laughs> it's super cute. Hello everybody and welcome to a new game on my channel. I'm Twinkly Tanya and I'm going to play the first episode of Mega Aquarium. This is a game that has been released today and it has been developed by Twice Circled, the same company that also developed Big Pharma. And the main developer, Tim Wicksteed, has actually a YouTube channel in which he explains how he developed the game and it is really cool to watch, so I will link that down below. But for now, let's start a new game. Um, I already tried Sunnyside, which is the tutorial game, but I will start a new one just for you. And we're going to play it in normal mode. Welcome to Sunnyside. You've been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Before the investors release any funding, they want to make sure you can handle the basic controls. Complete the objectives in the top right of the screen to prove you know what you're doing. For more information on any objective, simply hover over the info button to the right of it. Good luck! Yes, so if you want to know anything that you need to do, just hover over the info button over here and it tells you. Um, which was actually my first task. Um, zoom the camera is one of the tasks. Pan the camera. Uh, like so. And also, ah, with the right mouse button, right. Orbit the camera. Um, that goes with control like this. And we can also zoom with shift. Return to home. If you lose your aquarium, <laughs> uh, I don't know how, but apparently you might lose it. You can press the H key to return to the entrance at any time. Like so. Time to build. Great stuff. You've just unlocked your first round of funding for your aquarium. Use the money to get the basic requirements of your aquarium set up. These are covered in the new set of objectives you've just been given. By the way, if you need to review this or any other message, you can use, you can use the button in the bottom left of the screen. Here. All right, so um, we are going to build a theme park basically, but instead of um, rides, we build, well, basically aquariums with fish. Um, build a basic tank. Uh, over here we need to build two. And this is a very small area, but in time we will actually unlock, uh, or well, basically we, we can just um, make our space larger and this is actually one of the objectives we have to do I think so let's do that like this see so in time we will have a, a nice large hospital all right uh, wait I forgot the con oh no I I'm doing the right controls but you cannot do that in that mode okay so uh, attach basic filter to each tank so let's go over here and here we have the filters um, which help to maintain the quality of the water basically and every aquarium also needs a heater like this okay add some azure demoiselle to each tank so here we have the fish and right now we only have one and <laughs> look how cute it swims if you hover over it <laughs> it's super cute and here we see all the requirements um, for this particular fish. So we have the number of prestige points when the guests uh, are viewing this fish. So this is a very basic fish. We have number of ecology points earned. And with ecology points, we can actually discover new fish or research new fish, fish rather. Uh, this is the uh, size that uh, the size of the fish and also the uh, space that it holds in each aquarium and then there is uh, what, what the fish eats um, What water quality it needs, etc. So Let's have a few uh, To each tank it says so let's put a few in each tank um, And then we need to make it look a little bit nicer so Well, <laughs> we don't have a lot yet <laughs> So it's a bit boring looking, but it's fine. We will unlock a lot of nice stuff uh, later. Build an orange pellet dispenser. So, um, that was right over here, I think. Yes. All right. Let's have it right over here for now. And a tool station. 
because machines break down and then we need to fix them. Hire an aquarist. We do that over here. We have Anna over here and we see all these talents that she has. She's very good at fitness, um, which determines her natural talent for cleaning and apparently also the gift shop. I don't know why she needs fitness in order to work at the gift shop per se, but <laughs> apparently that's a, that's a requirement. It also determines the move speed of your staff. So she moves around very quick and she is a, a kind of okay in feeding, at least <laughs> better than uh, fixing stuff. Then we also have Harry over here who is actually better at fixing stuff and not so much at feeding and also he's slower. So we will go for Anna. Uh, oh, we don't have to put her there. She's already near the entrance. And uh, that's that. Open your aquarium. And we have our first guest. Well done. Your basic aquarium is up and running and your first guest has arrived. Whenever a guest enters your aquarium, they'll pay you some bucks to enter. In addition, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology points, which you can use to unlock new animals for your aquarium. All right. Hello, new guest. <laughs> All right, um, earn your first ecology point. Um, so in this screen, we have all our ecology projects, which uh, at the moment is just one. <laughs> and if we click on it, we are going to research it. Great job. You've started to research a new animal, the orchid dotty back. As you earn more ecology points, you will make progress towards unlocking it. You can see your progress in the bottom left of the screen over here. All right. And Anna is feeding the fish. Pause the game. All right, <laughs> done that. Practice moving the tank. So if we uh, press M, we can pick up anything we want. And you can see that actually the filter and um, the temperature thingy are, <laughs> uh, are moving along with it. Um, new animals unlocked. So we have researched the orchid dotty bag, so we can uh, move it into an aquarium right now. Now it's time to buy some for your aquarium. Indeed, <laughs> follow the remaining objectives so, uh, to expand your livestock range. All right, let's put this down again. Build a large tank. All right, um, add a basic heater and filter to your new tank. And we need some orchid dotty bags. Whoops, <laughs> moving decorations and animals. Did you know you can move animals and decorations between tanks? Um, I kind of did. <laughs> uh, first select a tank containing the object you wish, wish to move. Then select a move tool by pressing M or using the button in the top left. This one. Now click on the icon of an object you want to move directly beneath the tank's window. Uh, window. Yes. All right. Close. We need to build a large tank. So let's do that. Is this large? Oh, uh, that's super large. This is, uh... oh, whoops. <laughs> I, I built it through the wall, which is not possible, obviously. Okay, like so, this is big enough. Add a basic heater and filter. Um, and actually, I want to have a little bit more uh, walking space over here. There we go. Uh, so they can reach uh, everything that's over there. All right, let's, no, wrong menu. <laughs> let's add a basic filter and a basic heater. There we go. Add some orchid dotty bags to your new tank. Well, um, actually, <laughs> I would prefer to, um, I think, to have these fish in one aquarium. Although, I don't know, maybe it's nice to um, mix them up a bit. So let's um, put some of the dotty bags in, in this aquarium and not in the new one. Oh, I have to put them in a new one though. <laughs> All right then. It doesn't count if I put it in, a, in an old one. There we go. You may have noticed a set of icons attached to each animal you res research and acquire. These are known as the animal's care requirements. Over here, I already told you a little bit about that. Failure to meet these will reduce the health of your animal and could lead to death, and we do not want that. Your investors have arranged for you to access, uh, to access a new fish called the Half and Half Chromis, which is a weird name, to be honest. I understand why it's called that way, but um, it's still weird. 
Let's take a look at its care requirements. The half and half chromis has a requirement that you haven't encountered before. It's a shoulder. So over here, you see that it needs to be in a group of at least four and a half. Uh, no, of at least four <laughs> half and half chromis. Uh, not four and a half. That would be very weird and bothersome. Um, so this means it likes to be with a minimum number of its own kind. Demonstrate your understanding of care requirements by satisfying the requirements of the half and half chromis in a new tank. Well, all right then. Let's build another large tank then. Mm, like this. And I would actually like some more walking space over here as well. All right. Let's have a filter and a heater. Like so. Now we need... <laughs> it wiggles so cutely. Um, we need at least four. And that's exactly what this aquarium can contain. All right, now you've got a few different spe species of fish in your aquarium. You should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock new equipment, decorations and facilities and increase the repertoire of animals which are available to research. There is more. The higher you rank, uh, the higher your rank, the more guests you attract and the more they are willing to pay to enter your aquarium. So you cannot actually um, set an entrance fee yourself, but guests are just um, making up their own minds about what you deserve to be paid, which is quite cool. Ranking up occurs as a result of generating prestige points, which are the starry uh, thingies. These are earned whenever a guest enjoys something in your aquarium. There are many ways to earn prestige points, but you'll earn the majority with your animals, tanks and decorations. Your next objective is to rank up, after which you'll be able to unlock the animals required for your remaining objectives. All right. Well, <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Didn't have to do anything. Okay. So with my 10 prestige, prestige points, I was able to unlock all of these. Um, a door, uh, a new, um, well, the Combi Mini um, has heating and filtering in one machine. So that is pretty nice because it requires less maintenance. And there is a driftwood cave to um, make our aquariums prettier. And we have a new fish to research. So. Now that you are ranked two, you have access to more animals. You are going to unlock them one at a time and ensure each of their care requirements are met. All right, so we need to research <laughs> this cute wiggly fish, the King de Morza, and isn't he pretty? Such pretty colors. Um, and this looks a bit basic, but, but already super cute. <laughs> um, but, at some point, um, uh, we can we can make the super large aquariums, and um, we can make it uh, look different. Like there's there's all kinds of uh, nice decorations that we get in the end, so that is really cool. Um, but when we have researched this fish, it should be living somewhere, right? So maybe we should make a little bit more room for this fish. Um, Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm confident that we can fill up this space. It's not that. It's not that much, actually. All right. Maybe we can just um, fast forward a little bit because there's not so much to do. Although I didn't really make these um, pretty. <laughs> there's only fish in them, but it doesn't look very attractive, to be honest. Uh, uh, over here, I kind of like that and um, let's see let's give these a few rocks and uh, these fish can have a few plants that looks better okay we're almost done researching the fish there we go new animals unlocked the King de Moiselle is a timid beauty, in other words, a wimp, <laughs> which this um, little icon indicates, actually. It cannot be ha uh, housed with a bully. All right. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Okay. We need to acqu acquire at least one. Um, it needs two space. 
Let's see. Um, we could have another large tank. Ooh, we could even have a super big tank. Um, or like this. That's also nice, right? But, uh, yeah, why not, you know? Let's have a super large tank. And we will put a few of those in here. One, two, three. And uh, we have lots of space left there. Ooh, and I forgot something very important. <laughs> we need to give them the right temperature and a filter like this. And uh, we can, um, well, so this is a bully. <laughs> so once we are done researching this one, we should definitely not put them in the same tank. So, um, yeah, let's make sure that we expand a little bit more like this so that we can have another uh, another large tank like this oh the symmetry <laughs> isn't it beautiful and let's not forget the filter this time and let's make it a little bit prettier so um, like that sea lettuce there you go and some rocks. <laughs> it all looks a little bit the same right now, but I promise you it will be better. All right. Um, actually, we also have walls. And um, because now the guests are basically walking everywhere. But by putting walls between the uh, aquariums, we make sure that they cannot... Uh, that they cannot come everywhere. So, like this. Yes, and we will put... Wait, where was it? Over here. <laughs> Some staff doors, so only staff can be behind it. And we have unlocked the Arabian Blue Lined Dotty Bag. Cool. The Arabian Blue Lined Dotty Bag is a pugnacious little fella. <laughs> They are bullies and will terrify any animals with the wimp tag, such as the King Demoiselle you unlocked earlier. All right, <laughs> so we will not put them in the same um, in the same aquarium. So let's pick up this person because you shouldn't be there. And uh, now only the staff can go in these back areas because the guests, I don't think they really like the tanks and or like the the filters and stuff anyway. All right, so we made this aquarium ready, so we can put our bully in there. There he is. Uh, let's... Oh, we can uh, already uh, pick our next ecology project, which is a super large fish. Or at least for, <laughs> for now, I suppose there is even larger fish than this. Um, I want to give him a friend though. Let's let's give him uh, let's give him a partner. And I I believe, if I understood correctly, uh, I am putting in babies now. So they are really small, but they will grow bigger actually. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, wait, let's see how much space I have left here. Uh, Ten. That's that's pretty large actually. So I can uh, fill it up with something else, or maybe I could put the yellow fish in there once. Um, we researched him. We could do that. Um, maybe, and, and this one also required some more fish. Um, we don't really, <laughs> I mean, I could put one of these in there, but I think people would complain <laughs> about um, seeing the same fish over and over again. So I'm not gonna. I'm just speeding it up a little bit so that we can research the fish a little bit faster. Yes, we have unlocked the yellow tang. The yellow tang has a higher water quality requirement than your other animals. Therefore, you may need to have more filters or less fish in the tank because it needs 60% um, of water quality. Notice that they also eat a different type of food. They eat green pellet instead of orange ones. Make sure you build a green pellet dispenser so that your staff can feed it. 
Finally, the yellow tang likes plants. How is him in a tank with at least one plant per tang? Um, that won't be a problem because I like plants too, so <laughs> I will probably do that automatically. Alright, so... Six. We could either put one here, I think, or here. I think I will put one over here. Um, on only one though. And we can uh, put some other fish in there. There's already a plant, so that makes him happy. And um, I'm not sure what to put in there um, besides this fish. Um, okay, so that's it for now. Um, I do need the other um, the other <laughs> uh, uh, food for him, so I, I I don't I shouldn't forget this. But one of my equipment has broken down. This will cause it to slowly lose effectiveness over time. A staff member with the fixing role will automatically retrieve a toolkit and re remedy the problem. If many pieces of equipment fail at the same time, you may want to consider hiring more staff, building additional tool stations or raising the priority of the fixing role on your staff members. All right, so I think she will solve that automatically. Um, I want to have green pellets. There we go. That should do it. Actually, um, it doesn't really make much sense to have the food all the way... Sorry about that. All the way over there, I suppose. Um, is she actually going to fix that? I might actually need to hire more staff because she's busy feeding. So we have Harry over here. He is quite, well, good at fixing. <laughs> at least he, it's two instead of one. We have Wade, who is not good at anything, basically. Although he's pretty precise and he has good memory. But um, let's go for Harry because he can fix stuff. All right. And let's... Uh, so if we click this over here, we uh, made sure that the fixing has a higher priority over feeding for him. Um, no, we don't want to fire him. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, where's Anna? Anna? <laughs> I, I lost Anna. Anna, where are you? Oh, you are fixing stuff right now. So let's make you the feeder. So we have a feeder and a fixer, and if there's uh, no job for them to do, then they will do the other job as well. All right. Ooh, the water quality is down here. That's not good. So um, that's because of my yellow fish. <laughs> so let's put a basic filter next to this. Um, now we cannot access this one anymore, so we need to uh, make it a little bit larger over there. And we can uh, research a new fish. No, not a tank. I wanted to expand my hallway. Yes, like this. All right. Ooh, it needs fixing already. That's fine though. Um, he needs to walk quite far for it though. Well, <laughs> let's speed this up a little bit. Well, or no, I want to put them in the tank with some others. So let's speed it up a little bit. There we go. We have unlocked the black bar soldier fish. And this one dislikes lights. Cannot be housed in a tank with uh, tank lights attached. Which is not a problem over here, but... Um, Later, perhaps. And he's a cave lover. All right. They are nocturnal, so they like to have a cave to hang out in. When you reach rank two, you unlock the driftwood cave decoration, which provides a cave. <laughs> so make sure you add one to your black bar soldier fish tank. And he dislikes lights. Okay. So where is he? Over here. Mm, he can fit here. Oh, tired guests. One of your guests has grown tired. Build some benches so they have somewhere to sit and rest. You'll find them in the facility section. All right, um, but <laughs> I want to put in another fish. 
Maybe another one? Let's have three. Um, we have three uh, caves in one driftwood, so that would be fine. Ooh, also, <laughs> let's not fast forward then. Uh, a bench. All right, I actually want to put the benches right over here. So people can actually sit and look at the pretty fish in the aquariums. Okay, the final challenge. The aquarium is looking great. Your final challenge is to reach a target amount of prestige points and maintain it for a period of time. All right then. Ooh, this is also a not going so well. Let's add a basic filter. And let's expand this as well. So that staff can reach it. All right. Oh, that is a little bit too large, actually. <laughs> Didn't mean to expand it that much. Okay. Like this. Um, I'm kind of thinking about moving the food more to the middle. So that they don't have to walk all the way over here all the time. But I think for now it's fine. It's just a, it's, it's a small uh, zoo, I wanted to say. <laughs> um, well, it's, it's still very small. But um, I think in later games it might be nice to not have them near the entrance. But more towards the middle. Um, anyway, <laughs> we need to up our prestige. It is way too low. Um, and I think... No, I don't want to move it away. <laughs> I think this one... No, this one has already eight fish. Th we could add some fish in this aquarium, though. We cannot really research any new fish, so we need to put in some others. So, like this one, for example. This is a pretty fish, and it has high prestige. So let's put it there. And um, maybe we can also put one in here. There we go. So that aquarium is full as well. Is it going up? It is going up. Okay, <laughs> but it's not near 17, uh, 70 yet. So I will pause the game for a little bit. No, not fast forward. <laughs> pause. And I will expand it a little bit more. Um, let's see. Maybe... I will expand it like this, so we can have a nice tank, a large tank as well, so we can... Um, I cannot see it very well. Let's have a nice... Oh, okay. That is not in the middle at all. <laughs> Wait, okay, I can move it, it's fine. Uh, like so. That's nice. Um... Hmm, staff cannot really go there, though. <laughs> so I should probably... It's such a nice shape, though. Oh, well. I should make sure that staff can go there. Um, also from this side, probably. Um, this is enough, I think. No, it's not. <laughs> I want cemetery. <laughs> All right. So let's have some um, walls. Actually, we can also make them lower walls like this. That is so much prettier, don't you think? All right. So we need a filter and we need some fish. And actually, they can walk again. We need some fish and which one? Oh, and also, of course, some decorations. Mm, no, first some more decorations and plants. I think I want this fish because it has a prestige of three, which is amazing. We could have three of these, but it's nice to combine them, I think, with other fish. Mm. Let's see, maybe the pink one, but we have six of the pink ones already. Uh, we do have this combination already though, I think. I don't know, let's see. 
Yes, it's over here. <laughs> so that's a bit boring. Maybe the blue fish, because I was mm, all the way in the beginning. Or this one. Can they go together? But they all are already together as well. Um, They can go with this one, I suppose. That also has prestige too. There we go. And they go nicely together. Alright, we're almost there. <laughs> but then we need to keep it for three and a half minutes also. Mm hmm. Okay, so we have earned our prestige over here. Barely, though. Alright, I think I want to make another toolbox because right now um, we only have well although this is our tool guy so um, he, he will repair them it's fine we don't need a second one she's busy feeding anyway Ooh, we need to have an additional filter there we go that does it okay we're doing quite well we have um, a prestige of 88 right now 89 90 wow we're going up this is going very well. Okay. And we're stuck. It's going down. Maybe it's going down because the fish aren't fed yet. Maybe that has something to do with it. So then we should be good because um, Anna is quick and she's uh, going to feed them now with help of Harry. So it's all good, I think. Let's uh, make it a little bit quicker. I think I think we can. Looks like we're not going under 70 anymore. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, I know. Shouldn't curse myself, but uh, I think it will be fine. Actually, I could have replaced these as well. Um, but it's, it's fine. They are breaking down a little bit, but... Uh, it's fine, just for the last minute, <laughs> I will not replace those. In the next games, though, I might. I think it's better to have a combi one than uh, two of these. Oh no! Why have we dropped below 70? What happened? Okay, okay, it's fine again. I think it was because this one broke down. All right, we're almost there. Yes, we did it. You've built Sunnyside up to be a great little aquarium and people have started to take notice. You've received a job offer to run a larger aquarium over in Northwoods. You can continue to build here at Sunnyside for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message log. When you're ready to move on to bigger and better things, let me know. Yes, I'm ready to take the job at Northwoods, but I will do so in the next episode. If you like this, then please leave a like and also subscribe if you don't want to miss my next episode. There's also some Two Point Hospital on my channel, so if you're interested in that, you can uh, go over and watch that right now. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a very awesome and lovely day.